Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I want to share with you my recipe for a rotisserie style pork loin. And this is a fairly easy recipe, but you do need a rotisserie grill to, to kind of cook along the way I am. Uh, you can use this recipe if you want to smoke it or grill it, but today we're going to be using the rotisserie and all the, you know, the temperatures that we're talking about in the time. It's going to be pertaining to the rotisserie grill. So let's talk about the pork loin. The pork loin is a muscle or a roast that comes right along the, each side of the spine on the hog. And that's you know, right above those baby bag ribs, real tender piece of meat, real lean. You can buy them at your grocery store. You can ask your butcher to go ahead and get you one out of the meat case and trim it up for you. I just went to my local store and picked this one up. They had them on sale. Brought it home, trimmed off a little bit of excess silver skin just to expose a little more meat and use some butcher time just to kind of tie it up. Since we're putting it on the rotisserie rod, I want it to kind of have that circular shape. So it'll, the butcher twine will help it hold its shape. You can ask your butcher to do that as well if you don't feel comfortable tying it up, but there's nothing to it. Just cut you a length of twine and go down and tie around it and tie knots. First thing we need to do is we're gonna get, get our seasonings on this pork loin. And today I'm gonna make up a kind of a, a wet rub. It's gonna have some mustard and some honey to sweeten it up. And some, uh, garlic some spices in it and that's it it's pretty simple okay so to put together this wet rub that we're making i've just got some stone ground mustard about a cup and i'm just going to put it in my dish here then a couple tablespoons of honey fresh garlic then i need some salt and pepper and that's going to be it so i'm just going to cut a, put a couple pinches of kosher salt good pinch of coarse ground black pepper you can get this mixed up spoon whisk whatever you want to use this is going to be our seasoning for the outside of this pork loin. So now we need to get this mustard wet rub all over the outside of this pork loin, make it real happy. Now you can brush it on. Since I got it in this Pyrex dish, I'm just gonna kind of pour a little on top, spread it around. You just wanna get it all over the outside and you gotta get it on both sides. So you gotta get in there and flip it. Looks good on that side. Let's roll it over here. So just get the mustard rub spread around on the outside on both sides. Now for one little extra layer of flavor and some texture, I want to use a coarse ground rub. And this is my, this is my version of steak and chop rub, but you can use a Montreal, any coarse ground rub, just put your favorite seasoning on it at this point. It's whatever you want. The coarseness of it though will uh, really give good texture as the, the outside of this pork loin kind of roast on that rotisserie grill. And I'm putting a pretty good dose of it because we haven't injected, we hadn't brined. All right, the grill is on outside. While it's coming up to temp, we'll show you how we put this pork loin on the spit. So this is just a standard uh, rotisserie rod. I do have the forks that's going to go on, and the pork loin is going to slide down on it, and we're going to hold it in place. You want it centered right in the middle of your spit, um, so it cooks even and you know has plenty of room. You just want to start dead center of your pork loin. I'll kind of get on the side so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just going right in the center. You want to try to stay center mass of it and just thread it all the way down, all the way through. It's pretty easy. It's not that tough on the pork loin. You want to try to come out right in the middle if you can. And we're just going to slide it all the way down where it's rested real tight. Now we're ready for the other end. Slide it on. Pick it up and bring it in tight. Don't get your hands. You want to hold it just like that and tighten up on the little nut there. Now your pork loin is not going to slide around while it's cooking. All right, I'm out here at my Napoleon grill. And the cool thing about this grill is it has a rotisserie burner in the back of it. And that's what I'm going to be cooking this pork loin on today. For the setup, I've got both of my far side burners on, but they're set to as low as it'll go just to provide some more heat. And I'm really um, relying on this rotisserie burner in the back to do most of the work. Now I've got it set at about a, a medium temperature, or midways on the dial. I wanted to hold it about 400 degrees. Slide your rod into your motor. Line it up here. Make sure it's sitting right. So I like to just, you know, watch it go around a few times, make sure everything's looking okay. It also doesn't hurt to, to slide a sheet pan underneath it just to catch those drippings, keep them, uh, keep it a little bit easier on cleanup. But we're gonna close the lid, just keep an eye on our pork loin. About 15 minutes, we'll come out and look at it. Uh, we're cooking it to an internal temperature of about 140 degrees. So 
pork loin needs to go to about 145 but if you cook it that long it's going to be way overdone you're going to lose all that juice so we're going to stop it short a little bit and let that carry over take us up to where it's perfectly done stick around we'll show you what it looks like as it cooks okay it's been about 30 minutes and you can see we're still sitting straight up and down 400 degrees on this pork loin i just want to take a look at it see how it's cooking Make sure everything's still spinning right. It's looking good. Starting to get some color on it. I know we still got a ways to go, but it's looking exactly how we want it to look. You can see the kind of that texture it's getting, and that's why I use that um, stone ground mustard and that uh, coarse ground rub on top to add some more texture. And that's going to be right. So we just need to keep the lid closed and, and keep cooking. Uh, we'll check it again in about 15 minutes, start taking internal temperatures and see where we're at. We're just going to take it up to about 140, so we're going to get the lid back closed and let it continue to cook. But everything's looking good. So we got the pork loin spinning outside on the rotisserie grill and when it gets close to done I want to top it with a glaze to get some more flavors going on the outside. So I mixed up one here. What I've done, I started with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of that stone ground mustard, same mustard we put on the outside, and then a cup and a half of packed brown sugar in a pot. And just kind of heated it over medium heat and kept stirring it until it, it, it all dissolves and it kind of creates this syrupy glaze. So this is what the finished product of the glaze looks like. You can kind of see that mustard effect. It's got a good caramel color from that brown sugar melted down. So let's go outside and check on that pork loin. Um, once we see it hit 130, we're going to go ahead and start putting that glaze on it. And it's not going to take it long to finish there, you know, 10, 15 more minutes. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're going to cut our motor off here, stop it from spinning. You see we got some real good color on it, man. It's got some dark spots where that back burner's really been hitting it, but I want to check this internal temperature. I'm sitting about 134 degrees, and that's perfect for the glazing temp. And it needs, you know, probably 10, 15 more minutes of time. And this is really that drip pan comes in handy here because it's going to catch anything that falls off the loins. All that brown sugar is not getting all over the burners on my gas grill it's glazed on all sides i'm just going to make sure it's spinning good again we're going to let it spin about another 10 or 15 minutes just to let this glaze sit i am going to turn the heat up just a shot to really caramelize that brown sugar on the rotisserie burner in the back it's going to give it a nice pretty look we'll take it off here in about 10 15 minutes as soon as it hits that 140 mark all right, it's been about 15 minutes and the glaze is caramelized like I want it to. I don't want it to get too dark because I don't want to overcook this pork loin. That is the worst thing you can do when you're uh, cooking any kind of pork loin, whether it's rotisserie or smoker or what, is overcook it. You got to get it off before it gets to that 145 degree mark to let it carry over. I'm going to get my thermo pin back out and do some checking. Make sure that I'm you know, right where I want to be. When you go in, you want to go in a thick part, but you want to stay off the rod. We're looking, you know, 143, that's, I gotta get it off. So it's done, I don't wanna cook it over. So to take this off, first thing I'm gonna do is shut down my grill. And this Napoleon comes with a little handle that you can just spin on the end to make moving it around a little easier. And I just like to use a rag, take it right out, get it on your platter. So, you know, just because we got the pork one off the grill, it's temping out. You can't go cutting into it right now. I mean, this rod is 400 degrees. It's been that way for a little over an hour. You don't want to, you don't want to try to pull it off right now. It's got to cool down and we don't want to lose the juices from the pork loin. So just let it hang out on your cutting board. Put a little foil over the top of it just to tint it. You don't have to worry about wrapping it tight. Give it at least 20 minutes. I promise you the result's going to be outstanding. Just got to wait. Let's take it inside and let it rest. Okay, it's been 20 minutes of rest time for this pork loin and the rod's cooled down enough for me to handle. So I went ahead and untightened it a little bit. Now we're gonna take this pork loin off the rod. Pull the rod right out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the twine off. Just cut it a few places so we can pull it right out. All right, so now the moment I'm ready for actually cutting this pork loin. We've got it all untied, so I'm gonna move it over here to the cutting board. This platter out of the way. We're just gonna cut it into nice size chops. About equal portion. Size that, you know, a man would wanna eat. Go ahead and cut the whole thing up, it doesn't hurt. That's about how I like it. Fan it out a little so you can see what it looks like. So that the pork's done all the way through and through, but it's still just as 
as moisty, moist and juicy as it can be. That looks good. Which one am I gonna get a bite of? I'll take this back one back here. Cut a chunk of it off. I want some of that outer edge. Mm. It's got a great, you know, roasted flavor from being on that rotisserie. Really like the texture of that rub and the sweetness, the brown sugar kind of mellowed out, um, you know, the, the mustard that we used. That's really good. I'm gonna have to have just one more bite just to make sure. That's where you see how the juice is running. Mm. That's good eats. So let's recap what we did today on this pork loin. We started with that mustard slather that we rubbed all over the outside of it. Seasoned it with coarse ground steak and chop rub that I came up with. But you can use any rub there. You know, if you like Montreal, if you've got another coarse ground rub, you just want something that's got a little bit bigger grind to it to give, the, give some texture to the outside of this meat. We got it on our spit, we set our grill to where it's got heat on both sides real low, but the main heat was coming from the uh, back rotisserie burner on my Napoleon grill. If you're cooking on another rotisserie, just adjust your heat to where you're holding it between 375 and 400 degrees, because that's what we cooked at today. It took about 15 minutes per pound. This was a five pound pork loin, and it was done glazed in all hour and 15 minutes, and you can't beat that. I just checked it about every 30 minutes to see where I was on my internal temp, and we made that quick glaze to go over the top during that last 10, 15 minutes of that brown sugar, balsamic vinegar, and some more of that stone ground mustard. Let that cook on for that last 15 minutes of cooking, take it off and let it rest. 20 minutes, no questions about it. Don't try to pull that uh, rod out while that thing's coming right off the grill. It's too hot, it needs to calm down. Plus, you don't want to lose any of the moisture. This pork loin still has plenty of moisture inside it. You can see it just squeezing out, but it's because I let it rest that it's all still inside the meat. That's what you want to see. And we cooked it to, you know, right about 140 degrees. We let it carry over while it was resting. That rod radiates heat. Still pushed it up to 145. You can see it's perfectly done. That's how you want to eat pork loin. If you're taking it up over 150 degrees, you can forget about it. It's going to be dry. You might as well throw it out. I hope you enjoyed this pork loin recipe today. If you like what we're doing here at How Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. Love all the comments and feedback. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We're going to keep making these videos all year long. Come back and check them out.